नमस्कार टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट डीसी ट्रैक सर्क्यूट इन आर ई एरिया बेसिकली वी यूज ए सिंगल रेल डीसी ट्रैक सर्क्यूट सिंगल रेल इन द सेंस ओनली वन रेल इज यूज द अदर रेल इज गिवन टू आर ई एरी टू आर ई दट इज रिटर्न करंट फॉर आर ई ट्रैक सर्क्यूट बेसिकली इज एन इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्क्यूट इट इज प्रोवाइडेड टू डिटेक्ट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ए वेहीकल ऑन ए पोर्शन ऑफ ए ट्रैक the rails of the track forming part of the circuit so rails are the part of a track circuit rails jo hai wo track circuit ke ek part hai aur hum is particular track portion pe koi gaadi hai ya nahi wo hum is track circuit ke dwara jaan sakte hai occupation or vacancy of the track portion is detected by the condition of the track relay so we are uh, connecting a track relay at one end of the track circuit and we are finding out the occupation or vacancy of that particular portion of the track circuit mm. this is a track circuit uh, diagram let me explain you the track circuit diagram step by step this uh, we will start with track feed battery charger track feed battery charger is used to charge the batteries this input is 110 volts uh, ac output is either uh, for used for three cells depending on the requirement or four cells so if three cells are connected we will keep the track feed battery charger in three cells uh, selection or four cells as required either giving 6.6 or 8.8 volts output this is your uh, battery we should not connect the track feed battery charger directly to the track circuit without a battery battery should be available our wiring of uh, positive and negative terminal should be in such a way that if i remove the battery for any reason the track circuit should fail yahan se ek wire yahan se ek wire jo wo do wires aate hai wo dono ko separate lug se dalna chahiye aur बैटरी को फिक्स करना है सपरेट लग्स शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड फॉर दीज टू वायर्स सो दट इफ वन लग इज रिमूव दट बैटरी इज एलिमिने आइसोलेटेड एंड ट्रैक सर्क्यूट शुड ऑल्सो फेल दट इज बैटरी शुड विदाउट बैटरी ट्रैक सर्क्यूट शुड नॉट वर्क दिस इज योअर पॉजिटिव साइड फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव साइड आई हैव कनेक्टेड हियर वन रेगुलेटिंग रेसिस्टेंस this is our regulating resistance d this regulating resistance has a resistance a round type resistance from uh, uh, facility from 2 ohms to 30 ohms depending on uh, the requirements or uh, like uh, voltage given the length of the track circuit condition of the track circuit we will decide how much regulating resistance is required either 4 ohms 8 ohms whatever it is this is uh, regulating resistance can be connected either on positive side or on negative side generally it is connected on the positive side so from after regulating resistance the supply is given to the positive rail while the negative is taken via choke this choke is having a resistance of 3 ohms while an impedance of 120 ohms that is uh, choke will help in uh, isolating the power supply ac supply that comes here it is used to uh, have immunization from ac voltage and to protect our battery and charger this is connected choke is connected first connected from the uh, negative rail here we have connected it to the negative rail now there are various uh, re bonds that are used what are they this is your transverse bond connected negative to negative then we have the longitudinal bond then we have the uh, re mast bond which is structural bond while we also we have inter rail bonds which are connected this is your negative rail and this is also your negative from the adjacent track circuit this is inter rail bonds in this way there are various re bonds that are used this is your re area uh, track relay uh, used for ac mesh track relay 
generally we use QBA2 relay or QTA2 relays. Here also we are connecting a choke in the negative side at RE at track relay end also. The maximum voltage that we can give for a track relay is 4.2 volts if we are using a QTA2 relay. While if the track relay is picked up, TT is repeated in the first TPR. So this is how our track circuit wiring is done. How it works? Whenever there is any train that is standing on the track, the supply is uh, taking the shortest part because the axle has shorted the track circuit and your track relay drops. So again, components of DC track circuit, track circuit, uh, track feed battery charger, which is generally 10 amps input, 110 volts AC. We have a battery, three or four cells, 80 H battery is used. Then we have a choke. This resistance is three ohms while impedance is 120 ohms. We have a regulating resistance zero to 30 ohms. We have different RE bonds, different RE bonds are used. Insulated rail joints are used to uh, separate one track circuit with the other. We have track relay, QTA2 or QBA2 type track relay is used. A track proving relay, which is the first track proving relay is always a QBA2 relay. Then track lead cables are used. We use GI galvanized wires or wire rope for continuity of the track circuit. And then we have uh, track lead junction boxes or gen and location boxes. So this is about uh, DC track circuit. Here again, let me just tell you the different RE bonds. This is your transverse bond. This is your longitudinal bond. This is the structural bonds. Four, these are the cross uh, bonds and interrail bonds. Interrail bonds also provided. In this way, different RE bonds are used in track circuits. Thank you. Jai Hind.